Welcome guys to the DMR guide and tutorial, so the designated marksman rifle, also known as DMRs are very underrated weapons in PUBG Mobile, because not many players use DMRs as they are very complicated and hard to use, but if you know how to use a DMR properly, then you will never stop using them, because they are so good at something that other weapons are not, in mid-range DMRs are extremely powerful, you can finish your enemy before they even started firing, that's how strong the DMRs are. Anyway these are the following topics we will be going through in this video, the most important thing is customizing your sensitivity for each and every DMR, and few tips and tricks on how to use the DMRs properly, and about the thumb fire button versus claw fire button, and lastly few DMR training drills that will help you understand how to control its recoil. So why should you use a DMRs in the first place? Well it can do this kind of damage with less bullets, so whenever you're using a DMR, try to go for the headshots, because it only requires two headshots to finish your enemy, even if they are using level 3 helmets. However the mini may require an extra shot as it deals less damage, but it can still kill level 2 helmets with just two headshots. I know hitting a headshot is the hardest part, and it's not possible every time, so the body shots would still do a lot of damage. But if you want to use DMRs properly then you gotta go for those heads, at least get one headshot, I would highly recommend making your first shot a headshot. So whenever you're about to hit your first shot, take your time and aim for the head. And quickly follow up by body shots. In this way you can easily take down your opponents. During your first shot you get a lot of time to aim, but after the first shot, you won't have enough time to aim plus the weapon becomes jumpy and unstable. So that's why take your time and land your first shot a headshot, which will do some critical damage to your opponent. The way to use the DMRs is to tap the fire button as fast as possible while maintaining the accuracy on the target. So in order to shoot as fast as possible while maintaining the accuracy you need to learn how to control its recoil. When you fire, the weapon jumps and the aim goes up, so you'll need to readjust your aim on your initial target by pulling your weapon down and shoot again and keep repeating the same process. By the way, if you're a gyroscope player, you need to pull your phone down every time you shoot, and for the non-gyro players, you need to pull down your right thumb finger as shown in the video. But not just pulling straight down, you also need to readjust the horizontal reticle. So there's a trick to fire as fast as possible while focusing on the target, the moment you fire, you should start pulling down your weapon and readjust its reticle. What I mean by this, as soon as you hit the fire button, you should start pulling down your gun to control its recoil, for example here the moment I hit the fire, I started pulling down my weapon, but it went too far down, but you get the point. Anyway if you wanna learn how to control DMR's recoil then let me show you few training drills that might help you to understand how to handle DMR's recoil. So go to the training grounds and pick up a DMR, by the way, I know a lot of you would ask me which is the best DMR, well, it kinda deserves its own video, but I would say mini being the easiest one to use, while the SLR being the hardest one. Basically 5.56 DMR's are usually easy to control, while 7.62 DMRs are harder, and this is how I would rank them by their difficulty and recoil. I'm gonna start with mini, by the way, get on top of this sign like this, and start shooting at targets from here. Or let me show you my favorite spot, I would climb on top of this, and start shooting at the targets from here. Starting with 3x scope, I'll be shooting at these following targets from 100 meters to 300 meters as shown here. Try to hit all your shots inside the circle, I would recommend tapping slowly in the beginning, and then increase the speed as fast as possible while maintaining that accuracy. When you get all your shots hit inside the circle, move towards the next target, start firing slowly at first, and then you'll automatically increase the speed. Keep doing this for all the targets up to 300 meters. 320 meters is the max rendering distance, enemies won't be visible if they are over 320 meters away. And now with the 4x scope same drills, you need to practice a lot with 4x scope, since 4x is what you find most of the time, so train with 4x at all the ranges with accuracy, while tapping fast as possible. And now with the 6x scope, practice those exact same drills, by the way when you're shooting over 150 meters away, you will lose the ability to fast tap with mini, the further your target, the longer it takes for you to readjust your aim, 
Basically when you're shooting over 200 meters away it's okay to not tap faster, as you lose your accuracy, so try to shoot as fast as you can, while hitting all your shots inside that circle. And finally to 8x scope, do the same drills again, but let me tell you something about Mini's burst fire, when you rapidly fire two bullets at the same time, the bullets will hit almost the same place, it requires some skills and understanding, but once you do, it's gonna be overpowered when fighting against mid-range targets especially at 150 to 200 meters. But this only works for Mini 14. Anyway do the same drills with other DMRs with various types of scopes, by doing this, you will understand the recoil and handling of each DMR, so you'll know exactly how much you need to pull down your gun depending on the distance. And now let's talk about thumb fire button, yes it is easier to tap with the thumb fire button while using DMRs, so if you wanna use thumb fire button you could, but I personally don't use it, because I can't lean left and right if I have to use thumb fire button. Here's a tip, if you decided to have a thumb fire button only for DMR tapping, select your display left side fire button to scope on, and now your left fire button will only appear when you scope in, and disappears when you scope out, which is perfect for DMR users, so it wouldn't interrupt you. And place the left fire button somewhere it is easier for you to tap. And now customizing your sensitivity for each and every DMR, go to your sensitivity settings, and click on customized, now select automatic sniper rifles, and now add a weapon, I'm gonna start with mini 14. So first for the gyroscope players, there are only two sensitivities you need to change, the gyroscope sensitivity and ADS gyroscope sensitivity. So for the normal gyroscope sensitivity I would recommend using your sniping sensitivity, but increase it slightly. And for the ADS gyroscope sensitivity, I have the same sensitivity, but increased by 25%. For example, if my normal gyro sensitivity of 6x is at 100, then in ADS gyro sensitivity I will increase it by about 25%. And now I'm gonna copy paste this sensitivity, but only for 5.56 DMRs, for the 7.62 DMRs, it's basically the same, however since 7.62 has more recoil I'm gonna increase the ADS gyro sensitivity by 50% instead of 25%. Suppose if I have my SKS's normal gyro sensitivity of 6x scope at 100, I will increase it to 200 in ADS gyro. And for the non-gyroscope players, it's basically the same, but you need to change your camera sensitivity which is used for aiming as well as readjusting the aim. And for the ADS sensitivity I would recommend using the same sensitivity as camera, but increase it slightly. After you're done with all of these, jump into the sniper training in arcade mode, this is where you train your DMR skills, but please stop using pistols in sniper training mode. I would highly recommend playing a lot of sniper training to understand how to use DMRs, otherwise you wouldn't know how to hit a running enemy. Anyway, that's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button, and subscribe for more upcoming videos like these, see you guys in the next one, enjoy my bot gameplay.